Hey everybody, my name is Kato, and welcome back for another video of I Am Your President, the prologue. We're back here in summer, as you can see from the outside. Uh, everything's going pretty well so far. We've managed to get re-elected, obviously, as the candidate. Now we are coming closer to the actual elections to be the president. Uh, we've got some traits, some new traits. We are a headmaster and everything. Project-wise, we don't have anything to work on for the projects. So I'm keeping my points, I guess. I don't have anything to that I, can, I can't use those points, per se. Uh, quest log. We did end up uh, doing the quest we needed to do, which gave us 500 of politics, which uh, was really good. And also, we do have... Uh, where is it at? Development strategies. So we're still working on the international eco network, which is going to give us another plus 75 of, dip uh, of diplomacy, which is over here, boys. And uh, it's going to give us minus industry. I got plenty of industry now, so I'm willing to get rid of it. Now, uh, let's go ahead and see who's the first person. This guy looks like a normal dude. Who is this? Yo, yo, Mr. Prez. What's up, big homie? Who the hell is this? Rally music specialist. Okay. What's up? Gas prices, rents, my blood pressure. Shall I go on? Uh, is yo yo your favorite toy or what? Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna say. I'm just gonna say what's up. I guess their gas prices and everything. Uh, bro, you need to change your attitude a bit. I'm here to help and I know how to get the party started. All right. My party was founded more than 260 years ago. So it's kind of late to get it started. Okay, my dude, that was a good one. Good joke. Why do I? Why am I a president? Why is my? Why is my character so stupid? Like, or st he's talking like he's so super old or something. He's been living in a cave for so long. I feel like you're missing. Uh, I feel like you're missing with me. A uh, am I right, my big homie? Anyways, let's talk songs. Let's talk music. Let's talk culture. All right. I guess I can do that. What's hip and hop? Oh my god, he's really talking like an old man. Am I an old man, boys? What is this? Uh, if you really want to connect with the younger audience, with the younger voters, there are only two good options, rap and or pop. Rock music is still on decline, sadly, waiting their decade, uh, uh, their waiting third decade uh, for the next Nirvana. I doubt that it's really the case. Okay, rap sounds fine. I don't like rap, boys. Pop is then, is Katie Gaga still a thing? What the hell? So we gotta go, so we can't go for rock. Are you shitting me? We could have went for rock. Uh, uh, that's exactly what I like. What do you mean? I have to go for either rap or pop? That's shitty options right there. Either way, it's not good. I guess pop wise is gonna give me diplomacy or is it gonna get rid of it? Uh, you know what? Let's just do rap. Whatever, boys. Let's do rap. It's gonna upgrade our, our society. Uh, that is really not impressive at all. But can't, thank God uh, for me. I'm I am connected to you. Uh, I can connect you with the best up-and-comer rapper of the season. Pinky Swear. Alright. I don't know who that is, but fine. I swear I've never heard of her. Uh, may I change my decision to pop? No. You know, I've never heard of her. But you will now. Maybe she will even write a song for you. Maybe. Alright, fantastic. Let's do it then. Let's just do it. That industry going up as well. By big time as well. Alright, well that went good. I guess that went good, boys. I didn't have much of a choice here. To go for rap, to be honest. Uh, I didn't have a choice at all for what music I could have tried. Which is interesting. So Picky Swears endorses the president. Which is fantastic for me. Let's just go ahead and open the door again. Now, who's this? I'm getting constantly new people right here. I don't know who to, who's the White House Chief Usher. That's not Usher, is it? Okay, good morning. How are you? What is? Spit it out. Uh, what are you trying to say? Oh God, I'm not. Uh, I'm not a good uh, small talking. But that's the whole point. I have. Uh, I have. Have you heard of a person called Coffee Joe, Mr. President? Coffee what? Coffee Joe is the kind of person that spreads the rumors and news around the office. And by those, I mean the unofficial news. Like, who romances who? Who is going... Uh, what is going on with everyone's life? Alright, so... He doesn't have a life himself, I guess. If he does... If he uh, bothers uh, talking about everybody else's life. That sounds horrible. 
Why would anyone uh, want to uh, that kind of person around? And how is that useful to me exactly? Because that's not gonna. That's could go upgrade my society. I don't really give a give a shit to be honest, boys. Uh, well, boost e boosts employee morale as well as keeps the entire team well informed. There have been some studies proving that hiring a person like this increases the flow of information by 40%. Isn't that great? Who cares? Who cares, really? What matters to me is he does the job. If he works, fine. If he doesn't work and all he does is talk. I don't care, boys. To be honest, it's not like it's that's not a, a good person. Uh, what do you want me to do with that fact? Or how exactly do, uh, does the work of Coffee Joe look like? I'm gonna do that one. Well, he just uh, he's just hanging out in the office, engaging in conversations, sipping coffee, talking to employees, cheering them up, and occasionally doing some work. Occasionally, fire him right away. He's useless. Absolutely useless. He must be a needle loafer. Uh, that sounds like a job to have. You know what? He must be a needle loafer. Well, it may be, it may sound a bit weird, but trust me, sir, this will be a good, for, uh, good for the whole office. Are you the, are you the, uh, the, this, the coffee Joe? Is that you? Because you're, sh you sure are protecting him right now. Nobody in their right mind would protect someone that does that all the time. If you're someone that works hard, you don't want somebody else that doesn't work as much around you. Like, come on, what is wrong with you? Why don't you to do that yourself then? I bet you're a good, uh, you're good at that. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm all for it. Let's hire this. Jo I'm not hiring anybody like that. That's bullshit. If you, uh, if you, if you like that so much, why don't you do it yourself and see what happens? Okay, so there we go. So military went up, society went up, somehow economy went down. Oh god, I mean, if that's what you wish. Uh, but I have to admit that I'm not great when it comes to talking to people. Well, get better, Dan. What, what do you want me to tell you? Just get better at it. All right. What's next? Is there anybody else? I guess not. It's the end of the day. We got a new mail, boys. Autobiography update. So I have been working on our book for some time already, and I think that I'm close to the end. I believe that we should put the finishing touches and come up with a title. I have spoken to the publisher, and he gave me a, us a free end. Okay. Uh, since the text is uh, our collaborative work, once again, thank you for meeting me. I've learned a great deal from you. Even if my name can, cannot be printed on the cover, I would like to name the book after your greatest achievements. Due to the fact that you are known as the most per persistent president, I've chosen the following title, Mr. Pers uh, persistent. Daniel Williams' autobiography. I sincerely hope that you like it. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, fine, I guess. Whatever, boys. We got an autobiography coming up. Let's end the day. 65 days until the election. A leap of faith. The next chapter. We got a, a two other mails. Let's find out really quick. Oh, what is this? Data breach. Your confidential documents have been leaked. A whistleblower has escaped abroad and has exposed their secretive information. What? Minus 150 industry. I mean, it's not too bad. I, was, I had plenty of industry to share, but that was not a good thing. Who will be the new Creature King? What is this? Uh, you guys can read that, I guess, if you want. Uh, let me just go ahead and go to the mailbox. We've got two new mails. Chief Usher Weird Behavior. So he's a problem. He's been a problem. What is this? I'm sending this mission to everyone, hoping that I didn't uh, had too many recipients. But please keep it low, since I don't want Mickey to hear all that. I'm simply worried and that's all. Have you uh, all noticed recent odd behavior? He is sick or something. Last time I saw him, he was standing in the doorway, stuttering, covered in sweat. And I said something like, I like fish and wandered away. Okay, maybe we should help him in some way. Okay, he's acting weird. Okay, and what about this one? I'm sorry, sir. I did not mean to send a message to you. I'm just worried about our colleague and wanted to ask around. Please do not pay me, pay any attention to my previous email. All right, that was a leak, I guess. He leaked his email. All right, well, he got himself in trouble a little bit right here. Who's this? Uh, Saring Lee. 
Director of National Intelligence. Now this is a normal. Uh, this is an important person, boys. CIA, right there. I'm. Te uh, I'm here to talk to you about sensitive issue. I'm listening. This may come as a bit of a shock, since the issue is connected with someone with, uh, who is a part of your inner circle. Is it about my ex-wife? Okay. Well, are you talking about the vice president, or is is it someone for the cabinet? That's all I need to know. Exactly. Rumor is that he has done nothing. Uh, is done things behind your back. Not quite legal. What kind of not legal things are we talking about here? Well, apparently he's been sending public funds to a private company. So that's the guy who probably leaked my whole thing for the industry. Well, who could do such a thing? It's the trade representative. We've tried to track down their transactions. It seems that the money was donated to the CEO of Screecher, Marcus Sweetener. The reasons are yet unknown. Before we look into it any further, we wanted to inform you. That's the whole uh, news thing. Okay. Well, I'm speechless. Okay. Well, you did the right thing. Some things are, be uh, are better swept under the rug uh, before dirt spreads everywhere. You know what? I have to hear his side of the story. I'm speechless. How could he betray our government? You know, I kind of have to hear his side of the story. I'm not going to trust you on the first note. Yes, right now we... Uh, Yes, right now the wisest move would be to hear him out. I would ask him to come to your office. Uh, do it. There we go. We're gonna ask him to come to our office. Obviously, we want to hear his side of the story. We just don't want to make any um, accusations or whatever. So this is you right here. It's Logan Paul. Who could have known, boys? All right. So good morning. So you asked for me. Yes, I asked uh, you, and now I will ask you. How could you betray the covenant, America and me? Or that's correct. I invited you to tell me, uh, tell you this. Consider yourself fired. <laughs> oh my. Uh, you know what? Let me ask him about this. Let me ask this one. That ups both of those. There we go. Society and industry goes up. Sir, I did not uh, neither of those. Who told you so? They must be lying. Director of National Intelligence and lawyers to me. They would never lie. Well. The director of intelligence said so. Betrayal sounds like a uh, sounds like a real sales accusation. I am just telling you that I am loyal and deeply committed, and will never do such a thing. This must be a lie. Well, now that you brought that up, the accusation indeed seemed kind of odd. Uh, the, the, I don't have enough politics stats. Yeah, politics is really low. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to uh, agree with him then. Uh, that's what I'm saying. I was informed that there are people who are, do not share my point of view. But I promise, I'll done all I've done for was for the sake of the uh, of America and you. Okay. Uh, we uh, either can uh, agree with him or not. So all right. I see now. I do not want to rush things, so I will leave it for a while. Let's see how uh, things work out. Military and politics. I don't know if it's gonna go up or down though. I uh, don't play games with me. Do you think I'm stupid? Let's see who feels stupid. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to fire him. I'll let it go for now. Okay, so Pollux went up. Military went down, but that's okay. Thank you, Mr. Mr. President. I really do hope to serve you well and do not disappoint you ever again. If there are any more rumors, please do not pay attention. Uh, small people have small minds, but we are above it. And you and me, Mr. President, we will have it all. All right. I believe you, Mr. Paul. I'm not gonna call him Ford. He looks like Paul, uh, like our Paul brother, boys. I'm just saying. Uh, we will uh, watch out. You are in thin ice, my friend. Yeah, you watch out. There we go. So at least we uh, we've talked to him. He knows he's in trouble if he does uh, does anything stupid. We do have the cabinet unlocked, which is interesting. I'm going up pretty much everywhere. The military is a little bit going down, but that's okay. So now we got a brand new branch, boys. Cabinet. So we can see everybody that's in my cabinet and everything. I've never talked to... There's a lot of people I haven't talked to. Now this is the one, this is the girl that... Uh, she's in uh, control of the intelligence sector. So obviously the CIA. So obviously she's going to be connected to military and all. Uh, trade is connected. Okay, so he's connected to all of this. See? He's connected to all of this. So you can see what they're connected to. Ernest Williams, Barbara and everything. So you can see if you want to make them happy, you can see where you want to go at, right? which one you want to do. 
Uh, Cecilia Aguilar. Interesting. Agriculture and everything. This is a pretty interesting, boys. Pretty interesting. All right. Well, uh, now that I've got that, do I need to click on somebody? Oh, okay. So we can click on somebody and know what they're like and stuff like that. Interesting. Business, uh, age 26. She doesn't look like she's 26. I'm just going to say that. All right. Well, let's just get out of there, I guess. So we got like, a whole cabinet uh, thing now. Let's end the day. Price of dignity, 61 days. So only four days passed since the last uh, time. Go ahead and check what's going to happen next. So Germany crisis. Oh boy. That doesn't sound good. What's happening in Germany here? Let's find out really quick, boys. We've been tipped of a member of Al-Qaeda. We presume dead is alive and currently residing in Germany. Well, what we can do is notice, yeah, contact the German government and have him apprehended and extradit extradited. Yeah, exactly. We just need to contact the government. Send our men after him? No, that's bad. That's bad. We don't want to do that. That's for sure we don't want to do that. We're just going to contact Germany. And we're going to let them know to extradite him towards us so we can imprison him and stuff like that. That's the most simplest thing. Let's just do that. There we go. Obviously, this Germany, uh, the diplomacy went down, but uh, politics went up, boys. Or uh, what is it that went up? Something went up. I think it was military or something. But uh, overall, we did pretty good. I feel like we got a phone now. Interesting. With uh, now we got phone a uh, phone. The dread of the election day. What is the uh, nation afraid of? We're coming up to Halloween, boys. You guys can read that if you want. We have development strategies. We're done with international eco network as well. Gave us a bit of politics in there. Good. What do we need the most? Military. We kind of need it a little bit. Uh, society and industry would go down. Industry, I don't care if it goes down. Society, though, I kind of need it to go up a little bit. So I don't want to do that just yet. Politics would go down. I don't want politics to go down. All right. So we're going to do that. That's going to bring down a lot our economy, but. By a long shot, it's going to bring up our politics. Definitely something we need, boys. Uh, Project-wise, we're done with projects. We can't do anything yet, again. Let's just go ahead and go into our phone. So what's the phone? What is this? Gary Newman. Good morning, President. It's nice to finally talk to you. Who are you? Uh, who gave you this number? I'm sorry. Let me introduce myself. My, game, uh, my name is Gary Newman. I'm a journalist working for the Arab. I cannot tell you who's given me the number, but what I can tell you is that I was granted this honor thanks to the information I gathered. Okay, wait. What kind of information? I hope you. Uh, I hope you won't waste my time. What do you want exactly? I don't want to be interviewed right now. You know what kind of information do you have? I can guarantee you that you will not regret listening to this. Uh, I was hoping that you would comment, sir. Uh, let me ask. Do I have your permission to record your answer? Uh, just tell me already. No, I do not agree. I do not care about your little gossip. I'm kind of intrigued, actually. I'm kind of, I'm kind of intrigued. Let's go. Record me if you want. If whatever happens, I guess. Uh, I just want to ask you: Do you have or or add uh, any knowledge of the data leakage caused by any of the cabinet members? I can't do that. Uh, it's based on my previous choices. Hmm, interesting. I guess I'm going to answer that. Interesting. So do you confirm or do not confirm the connections between you and the person involved in the data breach? That's nonsense. I do not know what you're talking. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. So it happens that I have heard some rumors about the cooperation between one of the cabinet members and the CEO of an important company with its uh, possession of personal data obtained for over 2 billion, I think, user accounts. Okay. Who told you so? Yeah, who told you that? Mr. President, you know that I cannot reveal my sources. So you do have any comment on the story? Because it's getting published no matter what. Well, this cannot be published. I refuse to comment on such nonsense. This is it. Uh, see you soon, to uh, Village Feet. Uh, will you be attended after you, after you lose the election? Uh, goodbye, I guess. There we go. Goodbye. Boom. I'm not going to lose the election. I'm still doing pretty good everywhere. Society-wise and everything. I don't care if that's a leak. The White House may, uh, may is involved in screecher data breach. Reporter is on the trail. I don't care, boys. I took my chances. Might live to regret it, but it doesn't matter. 
And life never been the same. All right, so 53 days until the election. Alrighty then, so we got the door right here. We need to answer the door to see who's gonna talk to us. So who is this? Uh, health and human resources. All right, so uh, human services. So Mr. President, do you know what anniversary we have today? My birthday? Is it connected with one of the most important decisions made as president? Is it my birthday? Uh, no, sir. It's the anniversary of the executive order you have issued. You can find a quick remember, uh, reminder in the news, sir. It turns out to, that the case is not quite over yet. Uh, of course. Of course I remember. Now, what do you mean? So the thing is that the senators started to support a new idea. It is connected with the fact that number of divorces have significantly increased in the last year. How do they talk behind my back? What, what do they want? Well, the idea is that due to the divorce statistics, some changes should be applied to your law. What kind of changes do you mean? They still complaining um, after such a successful action? Well, what kind of changes do you mean? I mean, they want to change something. What do they, what do they want? Uh, they have raised the issue of modifying the executive order so that the law providing fin financial support for the single parents would apply only to those who have no other sources of income than the single parent's salary. Well, I don't like where this is going. This could include this could exclude child support. Yeah, this could exclude uh, child support. It's not good. They claim that the program's costs are quite a problem. On the other hand, if have pro uh, provided help for a lot of single parents, as you know, sir, this decision divided uh, divided the nation a year ago. Another solution to divide the nation. All right. So, the safety of the family goes first. I cannot abandon them now. I think that this kind of exception. Makes sense. I will consider it. No. The safety go, uh, goes first. Alright. I bet that there will be many unhappy senators as happy single parents. Anyway, I, I, pre I prepared the documents and you can just go through and decide. I'll look into it. There we go. Yeah, this is kind of a problem, but, uh, you know, I prefer the people, the families to actually be better, boys. So, let's read that document really quick. Amending executor order. Financial support for singular uh, parents. So, uh, we shall expedite the completion and implementation of the new amendment. Financial, uh, financial support provided by the executor order would from now on apply only to those who have no other sources of income than the single parent's salary. The secret, uh, secretary, uh, secretary of Health and Human Resources shall submit to the president periodic reports and... The, on the progress of the directive contained in the sub, uh, subsection of the section. The initial report that shall be submitted within 365 days of the date of this order. So uh, a year later. I'm going to reject. I'm going to reject that because uh, that obviously undermines everything. Uh, it's If it's only for the single parents, I don't like that. I want it to be for everyone. Not for just one group of, per of people, boys. So we're just going to reject. We're going to reject that. Reject that. Uh, politics went up. Military uh, went up as well, I think. One of those uh, went up. I'm not too sure, but I do know that politics went up. I need to the politics to go... Uh, I do know that politics went down. I need them to go up. We need to do something about that, boys. We're still working uh, on development strategies. That should help. On the anniversary of issuing the memorable executive order. So... Let's read that a little bit. Execute, exactly one year ago, the president has issued an executive order that's part of the debate. New law was a great help for new, some Americans, and not only did it provide financial support for those who raised the, their kids alone, but it also helped them to sort out the mess connected with the parent leave. All of the above uh, means that the parents who cannot afford a babysitter do not uh, have to quit their jobs anymore, since now they can receive the necessary assistance. We was also created to prevent the discrimination of single parents when it comes to unemployment. There we go. Uh, yet not everyone was thrilled with the law. Blah, blah, blah. But I made sure to decline the new uh, change. So it stays the same, boys. So it changes, stays the way it was. I like the way it was already. It was, uh, there was no reason to change it. My doctor is here. All right, so how is your grandson doing? There we go. That's going to get up our society. Uh, he's good. Oh, God. I cannot do it. Cannot do what? Do you remember the medical ex examination that I conducted a few weeks ago? 
Yes, there's something wrong. It has taken so long since the results were unclear and we had to make some extra text. We did not want it to worry you. Uh, but well, it's not as of what's official. Yes, I'm sorry to inform you, but you're seriously ill. We've been diagnosed you with a brain aneurysm. Will I die or I don't want to die? No, that's that's pretty bad. Uh, you know what? Uh, no, this cannot be true. You're lying. I have the elections day to prepare to. But what does it mean exactly? Well, having the aneurysm is not a death sentence. People can live with it for a long time, but only if, vo if they avoid stress and live peacefully. Being the president is not exactly the most peaceful job on the planet. Well, true, true to that, I guess. What exactly are you driving at? Well, uh, I don't care. I have to work. There we go. I have to work, boys. I don't care about what I have. I have to work. Uh, economy goes up as well. What I mean is that you cannot run for re-election, sir. This could kill you. If you're not willing to resign the party in the nation, even I will not allow you to continue. You're incapable of ruling. I am deeply sorry. This sounds like... Uh, this sounds like a trap, boys. Sounds like somebody's working against me. Somebody's trying to work with it. Pay this doctor to tell me that. No, no, no. But this is my whole... I have dedicated everything to politics. I have nothing else. Let me do that. Bring up our politics and diplomacy, boys. There it is. Uh, we deeply appreciate everything you've done for this country. I feel honored even to be standing next to you. You won't be forgotten? Look at my grandson. Your is your ideal idol. You simply cannot put yourself in danger anymore. I want to be alone for a while. Thank you for these words, but I need to chew on this. I did not expect this to happen so unreal. Let me think about it. All right. Yes, of course. If you allow me, I'd love to prepare a treatment plan. We don't abandon you for after you leave your office. You'll still be our president. Uh, let me just say that. Whatever. He thinks I'm gonna leave the office, but if I have any choice in the matter, boys, I won't. You bet your ass I'm not gonna leave the office. Alright, we got a mail. German incompetence. I regret to inform you that German side has failed to deliver on their promise to send the, uh, us the Al-Qaeda Al 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 member. Unbelievable. He managed to escape. He is now on the run. Well, we should have went after him after all. All right. I also learned that what, uh, what went wrong. Since the World War II, the German uh, government is extremely careful when it comes to utilizing their military within their own borders. So they tasked regular policemen with apprehending a terrorist. Regular policemen for a terrorist? Are you shitting me? All right, what he felt, obviously. The Germans are incompetent, boys. What do you, What else is new? All right, well, let's go into the 35th uh, days until the election. Sorrow endings. This can't be, boys, though. This cannot be. It's sp super dark, spooky outside. I cannot afford, boys, to actually uh, be sick right here. Politics went all the way up because of the de development stuff, which is really good right now. That's fantastic. Uh, we've got some news. Elections. Just what the doctor ordered. Okay. Sounds like that was leaked as well. Treatment plan. Uh, once again, I would like to access my regrets. Blah, blah, blah. We've got a treatment plan. Prescription. Ketofrin tablets. Sounds like they want to drug me, boys. It sounds like a trap. I'm not gonna lie. It all sounds like a trap to me. Uh, next up would be world's capital. 200 diplomacy. And society. That's really good. That's really good. Uh, 50 military and economy. I can live with that. Yeah, I can live with that, boys. That's three turns. Let's do that. World's capital. That's going to give us... Make US passports great again. Yeah, there we go. That's pretty good, boys. I like that. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to end the video right here. A little bit of a shorter video than most. I need to end it, though. So, uh, because I've got uh, something else to do right now, but... Uh, we're gonna continue in the next uh, one, boys. Don't worry about it. Looks like it's not going too well for us right now. We're kind of sick or something. We got aneurysms, stuff, which I don't believe. I, I don't. I still don't think it's true. It could be a plot against the against me to make me uh, go out of my office, right? It could be a plot by the uh, opposition, boys. So we gotta take this lightly. So remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.